Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of biology and of course uh, in this episode we are going to be looking exclusively on the class crustaceans, a class of the phylum anthropodas, of the anthropods, okay? Alright, also do not forget to like this video, liking this video will make other students like you easily find the video and learn. You don't want them to pass? Please like the video. Just as you are watching the video, now you can just click on that thing that looks like this, that like button. And do not forget to subscribe. Subscription to this channel is free. Just click on that red subscribe button below this video. All right. If you have done that before, you do not need to do it again. All right. And do not forget to keep sharing these videos and lessons. And know that this video tutorial is brought to you by the O3 Schools app. Okay. And of course, we are going to what? Talk about the app as we progress. Now, the crustaceans. Crustaceans include. Your crayfish, crayfish is a crustacean. Shrimps, they are all crustaceans, okay? Your crayfish, okay, that is one of the most popular ones. I want to see the structure of the crayfish before the end of this class. Uh, I'll just add it to what to, to just to, to just know, all right? But basically, your crustaceans include your, your crayfish, your crabs, okay, your prawns, all right? The river prawn, then the lobsters, all right? The barnacles and water fleas. Okay, these are all examples of crustaceans. All right, all right. I'll try as much as possible to what to show you pictorial representation so that you're able to what to maybe relate more with what with the topic. Okay, now some of their features. All right, include one. In the last episode, we'll talk about the anthropods and said they are, they are, they are divided into three parts: the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Isn't it? All right. Now, the head and the thorax for crustacean. The head and the thorax is fused together. Okay. The head and the thorax of crustacean they are fused together. Okay. They are joined together and they are called what? Uh, form what? The cephalothorax. Okay. The head and the thorax is fused together. They are joined together and to form what the cephalothorax okay so do not forget that now gaseous exchange is carried out via the gills okay they use the gills for gaseous exchange. this is where jam set that question from okay this is kind of thing they like setting okay which of the following class of uh, anthropos use this for that or what does uh, this particular uh, organism Use for what gaseous exchange. So those are the kind of questions that Jam will set for you. Tech, very technical question, intelligent question, useful questions. All right, all questions are very useful. All right, so please make sure that everything you are doing here, your eyes are on them. Okay, now gaseous exchange is carried out via the gills, and then of course the abdomen has eleven segments. Okay, the abdomen of the crustacean has eleven segments. Eleven segments. Now, they possess two pairs of antenna. I'm sure you must have seen it before, okay? Antenna like this. Okay, they possess two pairs of what? Of antenna. All right, and they possess a pair of green glands. They possess a pair of green glands which excrete waste products near the base of the antenna. Okay, so near the base of the antenna, they possess a pair of what? Of green glands which what? Excrete waste products. Okay, so they use what? This pair of what? Green gland. To what to excrete waste products and those green are located near the base of their antenna. Okay, now the abdominal segment have the swim rates. Okay, that is the swimming leg. The abdominal segment have the word the swim rate. The swim rate are what located in what in their in their abdomen. All right. So the abdominal segment have the swim rate. The swim rate are called the swimming legs. As I put swimming legs there, they are called the word the swimming legs. All right, and the tail is fan shaped, okay, and ends in uropause and it turns on. All right, the tail is fan shaped and ends in uropause and turns on. I'm sure you have seen crayfish before, I'm sure you have seen maybe a shrimp, a shrimp before, I'm sure maybe you have seen a prawn before, or a lobster, or a crab. You must definitely have seen the crab, okay. So the tail is fan shaped. Usually, why it is like that, the usefulness of this uh, uropause and tension. Okay, and their fan shaped tail is to what? Is sometimes to escape danger. The other times, so what? We're able to, able to, able to swim. Okay, you see them darting backward. Okay, I don't know if you have seen a dart coming backward, all right, with the tail. So the dart swim rate helps you to what? To what? To move backward, okay, or to dart backward. All right, so now 
Having seen this, I'm going to see the structure of some crustaceans. We're going to see the structure of uh, a river prawn, and then we'll see the structure of a crayfish. We are so that we want to end this club. But do not forget that this tutorial is brought to you by the O3 School Jam app. All right, and like I said, it is all you need to succeed in your examination. It is a CBT practice app, and your exam is a Jam CBT exam. Okay, it's, an, it's a CBT exam. That is why you must. You must have the application on your app or on your system, okay, to practice so that it gets used to how how what you can use what your your CBT uh, your computer, and of course you get used to all the past questions, all the past questions you need are on the application. All right, all the past questions you need are on the application. Then it has some features like the uh, classroom feature where you can study lecture note and take tests. It has the question side feature where you can search for questions according to topic. And it also has what do you tell me challenge, a challenge that will conduct for all students that are participating in JAM this year. You win prizes every week till one week to a main JAM exam. So you are participating in mock every day, every day, every week, sorry, every week Saturday, every week Saturday, you participate in what in the mock. And of course, you win prizes, you get used to our JAM, set that question, you are building on confidence towards the main exam. You have seen your score released every week so you're able to track your progress it's a wonderful feature so please download the app and activate don't be stingy to yourself activation is just 3000 error as at the time of shooting this video it will increase in feature so please download the app activate it pass your exam at once after downloading click activate at the top you see buy activation key then of course Click on that by activation key, you will see three options for payment. You can use your ATM card to pay online. You can also transfer to the O3 Schools account and you can use Google Pay. If you are transferring, send the receipt to this number 0912151246 on WhatsApp. On WhatsApp, send the receipt to this number on WhatsApp. Mainly send the receipt, you will get what your uh, your your key sent to you. All right, and you do not need to worry. So long you have paid, you will receive it. Don't need to worry yourself at all. There's nothing like scam here. Nobody will want to scam you with this. All right, so now let's see the structure of the river prawn. River prawn. Okay, so the river prawn, the cephalothorax of the river prawn consists of the head and the thorax. Right? We have told you that word that the the head and the thorax are what are fused together to give what to form what the cephalothorax. All right, now the cephalothorax of what? Of the river prawn is what uh, is made up of what of the head and the thorax, which is what which is fused together. And in the head of what of this river prawn, there are five pairs of jointed appendages. There are five pairs, five pairs of jointed appendages. And these five pairs include one. We have the antennal. We have two, the antenna, then we have three, the mandibles, then we have four, the maximula, then we have or five, the maxilla. Okay, so that I said that the head of what the cephalothorax of the word river prawn, right, consists of the head and the thorax fused together. All right. And of course, in the head, there are what? Five pairs of jointed appendages, which include the antennal, right? The antenna, the mandibles, the maximula, and the maxilla. Okay, these are the what? The five pairs of what? Of uh, the five pairs of jointed appendages. And the cephalothorax is covered, okay, by a hard covering known as the carapace. Okay, the cephalothorax is covered by a hard covering known as what as a carapace. So this is the structure of what of the river prawn. All right, it has what the cephalothorax, which has what the head and the thorax fused together. Then of course it has five pairs of jointed appendages, which include the antennal, the antenna, the mandibus, the maximula, and the maxilla. All right, and of course I told you that the cephalothorax is covered by a hard covering is covered by a hard covering known as the carapace. Okay, so this is how the structure of the um, of the river prong what looks like. So, so I'm going to show you a diagram and show you I've seen it now. All right, so uh, uh, of what of the river prong to make you what they'll be able to for you able to engage and relate to what you are talking about. Now let's talk about your favorite crayfish now. Your your favorite crayfish. Now on the head of the crayfish are small pears. 
of jointed appendages that we call the mazilipeds on the head of the crayfish now. Okay, on the head of the crayfish are small pears. Small pears of jointed appendages. Okay, and this small pair of jointed appendages that are called the mazilipeds. Okay, these which are called called the mazilipeds. Okay, and this mazilipeds, they are what three sets of it. There are three sets of all these mazilipeds: the first set, the second set, and the third set. Okay, and all of them do have what they are functions. So on the head of the crayfish, we have a small piece of jointed what appendages, which are called the mazilipeds, and they are what three sets of this what mazilipeds. These appendages help the crayfish to manipulate food to look for food. Okay, this. Appendages help what the crayfish to manipulate food. Okay, these appendages help the crayfish to manipulate Okay, also this crayfish also have what a large claw. It possesses what a large claw. It also possesses what a large what claw, which helps it what to look for food also and for defense. Okay, it also possesses. Also possesses a large claw. Okay, which it uses to capture food. And for defense, okay, just like how animals have claws, okay, this is what for defense, yeah, yeah, all right. Even human beings use your finger sometimes, use it when you are fighting, so the guests are fighting, use it also scratch themselves. Those have what a large claw, okay, which they use what to capture food and for what for defense, okay. Aside this, also have what you call a rostrum, okay, they also possess, also possess a rostrum. Which is a pointed projection of the carapace. Okay, they also have what what they call what a rostrum. This rostrum is a what? It's a pointed projection of the carapace, and the what they use this one this rostrum what for protection of their compound eyes. Okay, they use the rostrum for the protection which they use. they use for the protection for the protection of their compound eyes okay so this is your crayfish so that you are chopping anyhow right anyhow okay so on the head of the crayfish are small pairs of jointed appendages which are called the mazilipeds okay are called the mazilipeds. Okay, these appendages help the crayfish to manipulate food. All right. Also, it also possesses a large claw, which is used to what to capture food and for defense. Which is used to what to capture food and for defense. And of course, this uh, uh, this large claw is called the kelliped. It's called the kelliped. Okay, this large claw is called what, the kelliped. It has what this large claw, which is used to capture food and defense. Now, they also possess a rostrum, which is a pointed projection of the carapace, which they use for the protection of their compound eyes. All right, even like us, we protect our eyes sometimes like this. Okay, so they also have what this uh, uh, rostrum, which they use to what to protect what their compound eyes. So this is all we need to know about the crustaceans. In the next class, I'm going to talk about the class insecta. All right, please, I would love to see you in that class. Don't fade.